I hope you stay happy until the end and be happy. Compassion. If you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. Hello, everyone. I'm Kim Serban of the Freestyle Radio. Today's story is about 90-year-old grandfather. Then I read it for you. Hello, I'm a mid-twenties hairdresser who works at a hair salon. Last year, a grandpa who rode on electric wheelchairs over 90 came to our hair salon for the first time. Although it was my first guest, the hairdresser and I tried our best to provide the service. It's 12,000 won for men's cuts. But we received 5,000 won for the cut because he was over 90 years old because he only shaved short and didn't shampoo. Grandfather walked to the shampoo room and lay down. He had a hard time even getting up, but the grandfather was healthy for his age. I gave him green tea, which was my director personal supply because I thought it would be bad for Grandfather to drink coffee. Grandfather thanked me and asked me if I could take a rest because I'm an old man. I turned on the TV and gave him some snacks because he would be happy to sit down comfortably and feel lonely. Grandpa sat quietly and left. After that, he came to cut his hair once a month. I remember my grandfather who passed away a while ago. When he came, I greeted him more warmly and opened the door for him. Then, grandfather once asked me if it would be okay if an old man came and sat down often. The director and I said, why do you worry about that? Hair salons are supposed to be guest room. We told him that, don't have to worry about that. The grandfather told us about his family while talking to the director. He lived with his son, but he is living alone in his hometown because he is having a hard time. I asked him what he would do with his mirror or cleaning laundry, he said that he would get rice by an electric rice cooker, eat side dishes at the market, send the laundry to the laundry, and clean up by himself. I asked if you have any children living nearby, and he has a daughter next to him an hour away, but his daughter is also very old. Since then, the director and I have been leaving our own side dishes in the refrigerator and then rotting them away. When I brought the side dishes, I packed them separately and when grandfather passed by, I followed him, grabbed him and shared the side dishes. The grandfather came to his hometown, but he said he knew no one because he was old. At that time, I was free in the afternoon, so I asked him to come often. And one day, suddenly, chicken was delivered to our hair salon. When I told the delivery man that we didn't order it, he asked me to bring it to them and pay for it, so I asked him what he looked like, and he was that grandfather. I don't know that grandfather's contact number, so I ate chicken with gratitude and asked him why you sent us chicken when the next grandpa came to the hair salon. That grandfather smiled graciously, saying, Did you eat it deliciously? I wanted to feed you, because 
you guys nice to me. Later, the director and I searched the office and the bank manager to see if he had any way to get home care for the caregiver. But the answer came back that he had a lot of property under his name. That grandfather sent us chicken a few more times since the first chicken. He bought a hamburger. There was no way to help him, so when he came to visit often, I welcomed him more and talked to him a lot. That grandfather visited less and less before Chuseok this year. I was worried that something bad might have happened with the director. But grandfather came back to our hair salon and he said, I don't think I'll be able to come anymore. When I asked him what happened, he said, I decided to go to my eldest daughter's house and thank you for being nice to this old man. I said, Grandpa, you should go there every day and eat well and have fun. Grandfather held my hand tightly and patted me on the back of my hand and he said thank you so many times because I look like a grandchild. It's been a few months since that grandfather left and today's regular customer bought me the chicken from the same chicken that grandfather delivered. I wonder if he feeling well or not and if he going out in the cold, I miss grandfather. Since his grandkids are my age, I think at least one of those grandkids will see this story. A 93-year-old grandfather who often came to our hair salon. I'm sorry, I didn't even ask your name. Grandpa, are you doing well? The hamburger chicken that you bought me was really delicious. I hope you stay happy until the end and be happy.